Okay, before we start, let's turn on the 3D printer first so we don't have to wait for it. And then we can start building. This week I'm making a camera dolly for my camera to ride on to make cool shots. And I'm using the 3D printer to make the axles for it. So if we turn on the printer now, I can go to the workshop, make the base, make the rest of the parts, and we're hopefully we're ready at the same time. So let's go. The reason I'm making this base out of wood is because it's a lot quicker than if I would 3D print it and it's also a fairly simple, uh, simple part. So there's not much reason for me to print it. If you don't have the tools to make it out of wood you can print it of course. In this base, I'm going to make a couple of cutouts that I can use later with my wheel bases to see the angle I put the wheels on. So I'm going to make a couple of cutouts here. On my wheel bases there will be a little arrow and then you know when you set the wheel straight or under a slight angle and you can set them equal really easy. Always put safety gear on. So the basics are done, it's all very rough now so I still need to sand it, and, um, but the holes are in, the dividers are in, that you can see where the wheels are, and the rough outline is there. So I'm going to put my drum sander on the drill press, I love this little thing, I'm going to do the, the round pieces or these pieces, and then on the disc sander I'm going to do the rest. If you have a drill press, I would definitely recommend uh, looking after buying one of these or making one of these. It's not so hard to make either, but it, this one cost me like 15 euros and it's so nice to work with, especially for those inner curves. It's really easy to send, otherwise you have to do it by hand. to mention it's really dusty So I have the aluminum tubing with the wheel which slides over it. It fits nice and snug and I can put a 6mm screw through it to the other side and this has some, this sits into the 3D printed part 
to give it some extra strength. So let's cut this and then we move on. printed parts are ready I need to drill these holes out a little bit because when you print them they're not always perfect so what I always do is I make them a little bit smaller and then I drill them out the last tenth of a millimeter so that gives me nice clean holes so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna drill the holes and then we're ready for assembly when you're drilling in plastic especially PLA you want to drill very slow because PLA starts getting soft at 60 degrees and a drill bit gets a lot hotter really quick if you turn fast so I've put my drill press in the slowest uh, mode and uh, yeah just be careful Like I said, just be careful. <laughs> I think we can agree that it didn't really work out with the drill press so for the next one I'm trying it with a new 8mm drill and just my battery power drill so hopefully it will work better at least it feels like I have a little bit more control Here it is, it's done. Thanks for watching. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, the axles are really stiff and didn't take a long time to make. If you want to make this yourself, let me know in the comments below. I will definitely put a link to the models. And if there's a lot of interest, I might even consider making a build plan. So let me know. Please hit the subscribe button before you leave. I will see you next week and don't forget, Dare to experiment and have fun creating.